In the summer of 2020, Jack graduates high school. That's, of course, the first year of the pandemic. He actually skips high school graduation because he's off to basic training at Lackland Air Force Base. He goes on to start taking the coursework that he needs to become a cyber transport specialist. It was a low-level IT job, but it required a security clearance and a background check. He was a little bit worried they were going to, in their interview, bring up, hey, we found this Discord account or we found this Discord server. At that time, he did become less active in Discord, and he was very worried about keeping the things he was doing private and safe. What was he specifically worried that the background investigation might turn up with regards to Discord? Um, there was a lot of, like, racist talk on that server. There was a lot of talk of killing ATF agents, killing different government officials, committing acts of terrorism things that are probably not great for someone in the military to be saying. So I think that's probably what he was worried about. But Teixeira was investigated and ultimately approved for security clearance by the Department of Defense. One big question we have right now is, how did Jack Teixeira get a security clearance? So I mean, if we're looking at Jack Teixeira, and all the things that he posted online, the racist, violent comments, the memes, the imagery, and the fact that he ultimately is accused of leaking hundreds of classified documents. It's like, okay, well, wait a minute. There should have been red flags along the way. The Department of Defense declined to give an interview or answer questions about Jack Teixeira. A Pentagon review found that there wasn't a single point of failure in the leaks, but said improvements were needed to the security clearance process and how classified information is safeguarded. Shane Harris spoke to retired General Scott Rice, former director of the Air National Guard. All the checks and balances of the system and the bureaucracy looked into Jack Tassiri's background, and he was vetted and approved for that type of clearance. Jack, we were told from friends, was very obsessed with violent videos, violent content. I mean, it's a picture of a really, you know, dark, violence-prone, racist, you know, gun lover, basically. Should the military vetting process have caught all of these aspects of his personality? Yes and no. Uh, the military vetting system is, is pretty robust, and it catches a lot of stuff. He was a, you know, young high school kid, took a test, did very, very well on it. And so, yes, the, the system vets and, and finds a lot of the system, but again, it's, it's not perfect and, and some things come through.